last time we talked, you had some, uh, you know, you hinted at some big visions. And it seems like this conversation here is going to dictate whether these visions become a reality and in what direction we're going to start moving. Well, uh, it wasn't really fucking hints, right? I was being direct. Listen, we as a crew, I'm going to assume you guys as a crew as well, uh, we don't grow in ways that other crews do because uh, we spend more time vetting and, you know, solidifying the people that work for us, right? When you say grow, you don't mean growing plants. You're talking about growing as a operation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the problem with that for us is uh, other crews don't want to work that way or they choose not to work that way. They go for maximum, uh, you know, profits, meaning they recruit everybody they can uh, to control and run whatever they're trying to do, right? So we're left with two options. One, we choose to grow that way to compete, which we never will. Or two, we look to essentially establish, uh, you know, a formal alliance with another crew, which would be you guys. Uh, in a way where we can then compete by essentially building up and running Cyprus, uh, you know, to the best of its ability, right? When you say compete, what, what exactly do you mean? You mean financially? You mean with in force? A, in every way possible. Force, financially, uh, just having operations that are better than anybody else's, being able to jump at any opportunity that uh, pops up uh, before anybody else because we're just so ready for it. Okay, and right now you're feeling that you're in a position where other crews are kind of leapfrogging ahead of you ahead of us uh in some ways yeah and more so uh it's just manpower like it's just ridiculous manpower that if we ever wanted to challenge we can ne we never could because our manpower will never be that big Ch because of Ch the way challenge we in what way though can you give me an idea can you give me like a specific literally anything right so uh it, it, if it comes to you know hitting somebody's turf hitting them where they hurt uh, in ways like that, or, or even just more, uh, you know, low-key ways, right? You need a f contract, you got to hit a f PC, hack somebody off their shit. There's so many ways to, to attack people now. Uh, so we want every opportunity that we can cover. Like, we, we don't know who wants to come into Cyprus. Who am I trying to move in? Uh, uh, imagine if Hydra tomorrow woke up and decided, fuck it, let's move into Cyprus. We'd be fucked. Yeah, I'd like to see them try. Yeah, you say that, but they're rolling like 60 deep. But it don't matter. I'd like to see them try. <laughs> I don't mean them specifically. I just mean anybody. Yeah, I agree. That should be the mentality. But we also should be understanding of, uh, you know, potential uh, enemies and things that we cannot maybe handle, right? 100%. Now, the best thing for us, I think, to do is to come together. Uh... We spoke briefly on the phone, or, or it was in person, whatever. Uh, you guys control the north, we control the south. But if we're going to offer you this piece of the fucking pie, like, it's got to be legit. Like, I, I spoke briefly before. We need to be able to rely on you guys. You guys need to be giving 150% fucking effort. Uh, shit can't be half-assed. Motherfuckers can't be disappearing without a fucking reason. When you say relying, brother, I, I need to know what the, what the goal is. Is it just to fucking, you know, have boots on the ground? Like, what, what is the goal here? Is they like... Well, when you said rely, what, what you mean? Uh, I think it's steps, right? So step one is just kind of figure out borders, uh, what you guys are going to control, what we're going to control. And then step two, I think, would be uh, maybe building some sort of business operations together, legal fronts in Cyprus that we can run uh, together out of, that way we can get acquainted with one another, and then generate uh, you know, a source of clean money, similar to what you're doing with your furniture business, right? Or, or maybe even looking at that, some, uh, maybe some sort of collaboration with furniture and my materials or something. There's the CEO right there. And then step three would be, um, well, I, I don't know what step three would be. It, it could be step four, seven, or eight, but properties. We need to control the properties within Cyprus. If they ever go for sale, we need to somehow be ready and be able to uh, purchase them. Just, uh, I don't know if you know uh, Mary Mushkin, but her entire Mary crew, Mushkin. her entire crew bought up 80, maybe 90% maybe of fucking Mirror Park. The minute they realized they wanted to live and settle there, it took them about a week and a half before they owned literally the majority of Mirror Park. How many people is that? No fucking many. idea. It's many. Many. Like how many? Like many, like 30 plus, 40. They got 30 plus people working over there. Yes. Under her. So whatever she says, all 30 people, that entire neighborhood is going to operate the way she wants? Hell yeah. Some of them, you know, are low key. You'll never know they work for her. Some of them are very uh, open, and you know, they'll, they'll beat the fucking chest if you come knocking. You know what I mean? 
So that, that what, what I'm trying to say is they'll move if there's a if there's an issue they will pick up their pitch force and there will be thirty fucking people ready to make a move. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, same goes for uh, we, we can assume the same with the fucking Hydra, the same with fucking uh, with uh, Changing. People are looking at uh, it's what I told you when we first started speaking. Properties is is number one. People want fucking you told properties. Me, you told me that in six months' time, eighty to ninety percent of all properties will be purchased in the city. Yeah, that I was, think so. There's yeah. about one month left for that six month to to elapse. Now, in the meantime, we did what we could and we bought up about six properties. Majority of them in fudge, especially because it's been overlooked in Cyprus. Yeah. So you're saying the next step is to own the properties here. Now you want to own the properties here. I got the sense the other day that Cyprus for you was a little bit more than just a turf to sell dope on. To actually turn it into a base of operations where there's a whole lot more happening here, kind of like a full on headquarters. Did I follow correctly? Yeah, I mean, 100 percent. We want to it's, it's we want to build like a, a literal home here, right now. The, the, the first step, obviously, is, is the green. That, that's the first thing that's moving mm. here. And I'm assuming in the future, there'll be other stuff moving here as well. Now, places like Sandy, the family's turf, they get in every fucking Joe Schmo, anybody that's got legs and has a fucking beating pulse to come and push bags. Now, yeah. I can get that happening here too under just my app, but you don't want that. We don't want that. We want to do a slow vetting process, right? That's not going to change. That's right. That's right, yeah. So the goal ain't to get it to 100. The goal ain't to get it to 100, not right now. Anyways, the goal, the, the goal is to build. We need to build. build up your foundation, you know, build up your fucking, you know, your soldados, your people on the street, you know, your crew and the dinero. You know what I'm saying? Once you build that up and you got fucking steady amount of people coming around, steady Anyone amount of radio? dineros, that's when we can compete with others. You know what I'm saying? Right now, nobody can compete with nobody. Nobody can compete with Hydra. They're like 60 people selling Mota. Ain't nobody gonna can do that, you know, at all. Like, I can do that, but I don't want to do that. You see what I'm saying? Quality no, over I'm... quantity. Uh, th think of it that way. No, 100%. I'm just trying to outline in my brain, like, wait, okay, what's the next step? What is the next fucking goal immediately? Because that's how I operate. I need a goal, and I, and I move towards that goal. And right now, the goal is just save up money until a property comes out. But I'm just wondering if there's something more tangible today that we can do. Uh, build internally is the only tangible thing you can do right now. Is build internally. Build your people up. Get fucking reliable people. Get people who see the same fucking vision, right? And get people who are fucking hungry and motivated. Is there whispers? Is there somebody sniffing around? Or you, you sense somebody has their eyes on Cyprus to make a move here? Uh, we don't think so, no. But it's it's not necessarily... If... if I don't think anybody's going to move in here. But if people wanted to start hitting us and absolutely destroying one of our main sources of income, they would do so very easily. I'd like to see them try. Like I said, I appreciate the confidence, but the reality is it, it would have happened very easily. It, it would. Look, well, like I said, first step would be to establish uh, internally a solid crew that is consistent in the round and ready to work on something like this. Uh, step two is probably just, you know, start pushing multi, get down here, get, uh, build a presence, let people know that you fucking run shit down here, right? After we, uh, you know, split up Cypress. Step three, properties. Um, that could move to a next step, though. We never know. <coughs> And then okay, we go from there. Well, well, what about you now? The business, the legal business, which it seems to me is a fucking big piece of the entire operation. Well, what are your thoughts on that? You know, because what, whatever thoughts they are, this is the man to do it through. Uh, I mean, I would have to sit and think about it, but I, I do think we should collab on some sort of business that is pushed out of Cyprus 100%. Okay. Now, when, you know, we're talking about us being reliable. And, and being around, you know, that goes both ways, right? Like, we need something, we call y'all. I mean, 100%, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we hear every day, my friend. Every fucking day, we can always get one of the dons, you know, no problem. Okay, well, what, what does that mean, one of the dons? I'm assuming there's, do the three of you use this dons? Just uh, it would be, it'd be us three plus Harry Brown and uh, Tony Corleone. <laughs> I thought Harry Brown died. Uh, we did so too, but uh, he's back now. Wow. Also gained about like 200 pounds. Uh, okay. Well, I, so I so ain't nothing changing, but that's the mindset we've been on. Is it, it, that it we is got changed, an alliance though, with y'all? We, we we need to yeah. we need to we need to we need to get a little bit more movement. Uh, we're kind of we're, we're kind of uh, you know stagnant right now. Okay. Uh, right, by the way, in what direction? What are we thinking about when we say that? Uh, I think the first step would be a business. 
uh, figuring something out that we can collaborate on together um, that allows uh, so like my situation with Mary Mushkin right she's like she absolutely fucked me uh, she cut How? me out she cut me out she's working with people who are uh, always gonna sell for cheap so a big problem in this fucking city right now if we're talking business and clean money is there's always gonna be somebody who's gonna undercut you and what naturally that does it, it doesn't allow you to operate in a way you would you always be at the mercy of somebody if we could establish a business where we're not at each other's mercy, uh, we establish prices, whatever, that works for both parties, uh, where we can both eat, it's, it's just something that we never have to worry about. I, I don't know if you guys ever have dealt with that. Uh, we deal with it a lot because we are in the business of providing resources uh, you know, to somebody who's in the business of building something. So we're always at each other's mercy. You know, uh, th That person has to pay a good enough price where we can get the resource, and then we have to give them a good enough deal where they can turn a profit. But if somebody comes and goes, hey, uh, Lang, you know, and, and instead of, you know, I, I know Jack buys your materials at $2, let me buy it at 5 All of a sudden, why would I work with Jack anymore? You know what I mean? It, it, it will just destroy everything we worked months working uh, for because somebody came around and is giving you a better deal, which will always happen uh, in this day and age. Yeah, that's when, that's when the alliance comes into effect. Exactly, and yeah. One thing with, with, with furniture as well, I mean on a consistent basis every two to three days i'm spending 30 40 000 on materials easy and we go through it every single one of them oh that's so shit. whether that's it, it be research and development the, the furniture that we that we sell i mean shit, i i just hired on three or four more salesmen i expect furniture to start moving out the door pretty regularly to the point where we're making uh, you know a lot more than what we was but having a, a steady supply of materials would be huge would be absolutely huge because it's so i th i think that is where we would start is you guys would be the manufacturers Th this is the business that we had in mind right a, a massive manufacturing business that is ran out of cyprus you guys already have you guys are already 10 steps ahead ahead of most people i would imagine i'm not really too familiar of uh you know the industry that you're in but from what i hear and see uh i don't even know if anyone is even manufacturing the way that you guys do well, we're the only ones in the industry but no one can Nobody's match the close. output and nobody has a storefront the way we do and it's like we're so far ahead of the game when it comes to that we figured that was the most important piece to start with on a kind of a to, few to furniture we we have the means of producing anything that we want yeah, so I think we start with that. Uh, we provide you guys the resources. Uh, so you guys go exclusive on a purchasing materials from us, and that allows us to then get aggressive with the market. For example, right, uh, you have Chang Gang going around trying to, trying to drive down prices. Um, the reason why they failed miserably is because I had a contract that no matter what was always buying at more than what they were trying to buy at. So I could always pay more for what I needed. So I never had to sweat to fill orders. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's quite simple. Yeah. So somebody would come around and be like, hey, let me buy your materials at $6. I would go, no, listen, I can buy it to, I can buy it at seven fifty because I know I have a contract that is guaranteed that it's always going to buy it at eight. So no matter what, if somebody came in to try and bully me out of the market, they would have to go higher than eight and they never would. I can even get so petty I can go to eight and just break even if I had to get that aggressive only because I had something that was guaranteed until that person fucked me over right and the person fucked you over by why turning down your contracts uh, I mean that it's 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 logic you can't really argue against uh, but you can uh, you know it's it's the like, loyalty jump in bed with somebody else is that yeah, I, people, I are, people are just people are just selling it massively cheaper to her she, she, she's going she's going out of her way to buy from people, you know, in, in the late hours and early hours who are selling a dirt cheap that I, I can never go and compete with because I'm never going to wake up that fucking order to deal with it. You're always going to have rogue actors, right? You're always going to have always, rogue yeah. actors pushing down his price. But the thing is, the thing is, these rogue actors, what they can give you is they can give you something cheap because what they do is they go, they get all this shit completely brain dead. But what they can't give you is an experience and they can't give you novelty, right? They can't give you something of value that isn't some actual tangible resource. If you can figure out, we can all figure out something that is not just a, like a single material, right? That is an experience, that is novelty. We can make a lot of money, right? I 100% right agree, yeah. There are people doing the, the, 
uh, diners and the the uh, the food services out of the uh, out of the senior burgers. They go, you know, I go, I get a burger and I leave. You could do a restaurant where it's a big grandiose thing. It's high class. It's great shit. People want to come there for the experience. You can make a lot of money like that. And that's just off the top of my head. Yeah. I'm sure there's a thousand businesses like that we can make a lot of money with if we put the money and the time and the brain power into. Well, not only that is, I've been talking with a few people that that work under me at the. At the I gotta go company, clean money, bro. And you know, having the idea to take the space that we have at that warehouse and monetizing it, using it for events, weddings, whatever bullshit idea people have we have the means to supply the furniture we can monetize that space and make even more money w without even selling anything all, all you're right. selling is the experience that's why we don't have you know a bullshit website we don't we don't throw our prices and shit out there because the showroom that, that sells furniture people I, people can look at a website and click on shit all day what, what really they're after is something that they can see and kind of visualize oh i like how they put that together i'm gonna do this in my house or i'm gonna do this in my apartment you're selling the experience and that's the like the single best part of marketing that you could ever have is word of mouth if you you give somebody a good experience they're gonna go tell their friend their friend's gonna tell their friend and i mean that's you create your market that way listen while, while we're talking about the business i want to bring up a point which i think was a massive fumble there's this marlowe vote because having somebody in office that we can rely on is going to be fucking huge it, it doesn't matter listen we can never rely yeah, on max we can never rely on max maybe you can't rely on max brother but that, that that relationship still needs to be fostered regardless it's impossible i'm telling you jack it's impossible you can try you will get I stabbed in the back like you want to you want to waste your time and get stabbed in the back by all means you can but i'm telling you he's going to stab you in the back that guy's for nobody but himself and his fucking wife and that's it the, the, the fact the fact that he even won the election yeah, it is, it's just speaks to how nobody in this fucking city actually gives a fuck about a mayor who wants to run the city. But it shows that this motherfucker can get shit done when he puts his mind to it. He's fucking capable. Right, no, the, you, only, you're, the you're only reason he won, man. the only right, reason like, he won the election was because, you know, he pulled the fucking, the smart car, he increased everybody's payout and say, vote for me or I fucking deny you. So well, they had no you, choice. But, but there you go. That's why this motherfucker is clever, man. Uh, if you if you think that is a clever tactic, then yeah, sure. To me, it's a very it's a it's a very gimmicky tactic. It's a very easy to see through. Most people never see it because they're fucking sheep. But it's very easy to see through what he's doing. Isn't the game? Shouldn't the game be all right? This guy has power. I need him to do something for me. So I gotta do something for him in return. And trying to figure out what is it he wants, so that he can fucking you know do what we want. Because what he wants, he'll 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 sink his fucking claws into you and take everything from you. You want to work with somebody like that? You can. I just won't. So, so the way it seems, right, it seems like we're stuck with a guy for three months, right? We can choose to either work with the guy, and, but if not, then we have to hunker down. We have to get ready for in three months, we're going to have to run somebody and run somebody that has the charisma and has the, the knowledge and pulls out all the gimmicks, all the stops to get elected, right? We need somebody in office because the real money is in politics, always has been since that motherfucker... Uh, the very first King Gilgamesh got in office, <laughs> became king, and started making tons of money. <laughs> we got to have somebody in office. We have to. I think so. Yes, that is something we should look for in the future. Right now, we are drastically far from that. I I'm going to be honest. Uh, what, what, what can the mayor even provide for you that you can't do yourself? They can put legislation. They can really start fucking up a bunch of people's uh, businesses. Right. But they've done that already. They've eradicated the, the idea of a business. And people exactly. are still operating businesses and making money. Exactly. And now imagine they didn't eradicate it. Imagine they were helpful to the people that were smart, the people in this group. And they correct. were correct. Correct. very unhelpful for the people that were outside of the group. That, that is correct. That imagine imagine having a mayor. Advantage. Imagine having a mayor who wanted to help businesses prosper. If you wanted a mayor that would do that, it wouldn't be Max. So my point stands true again. Max is not the mayor right. for that. He doesn't give a fuck about that. We got to figure out we have three months that's a long time that's a long time but it comes fast three months to figure out somebody that can go all the way and become the next mayor who, uh, i think we're the only ones who voted for marlo did anyone outside the circle vote for marlo i don't think so 
Um, do we know who uh, who came in second place? We know. Uh, Solomon. Solomon. Solomon came in second place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was marketing yeah. every day around these hours, but not this hour, but earlier. Margin, man. By a Holy fair shit! Yeah, so yeah maybe, big margin. So maybe that's, that's your way in. Nah, that guy. There's some there's some history there, brother. Yeah, I, I don't trust that guy for a second. Oh, okay. So, so you're allowed to not trust somebody, but I can't. My, my no, distrusting of somebody will be questioned. You don't think I got, I got fucking reasons, reason. motherfucker? Are you serious? So I, I got an idea. I got a. You know, I broke that guy idea. out of maximum security fucking prison. The only day, the only reason he's me, walking today is because of me. He told me to my face that he owes you one. That he still feels. He's like he a lying you, snake and a fucking to... rat, and you're gonna stand there and tell me that I'm wrong, and it's ridiculous. No, I believe you, So I got you, an idea, brother. I, I got an idea, and I don't know what it is, but it's a devious idea. I don't know if it's the light, and I don't know if it's the spots that keep falling on the back of my neck or what. But I got an idea. You guys have a good relationship with Solomon. We got a bad relationship with Solomon. We have an okay relationship with Max. You have a bad relationship with Max. Two groups, brother. Two we don't even know who the fuck Solomon attack. is. One yeah, pers left. yeah, we don't even know the fucking guy, really. Well, you can always establish a good relationship. You haven't birthed it yet. Here, here, uh, I don't think Solomon's gonna guys, like us. Right here, 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 here's the deal. I'm on the same page with Kettle, man. I got history too. Here's the deal. Here's no, the deal. My history is pro, pro, pro. Listen, listen. Here's the fucking deal. Okay, we're we're gonna sit here and pretend that a mayor can do anything for us, and although maybe he can, he can't really stop us from doing anything. Okay, this guy's tried to stop the material market. He's tried to destroy me. He hasn't affected me even fucking one percent. We need to stop giving false power to the people who just don't have it. Well, what can the mayor? What can the mayor change for you right now, Jack? Listen, all I'm saying is, brother, like, we got a lot of plans. It would make sense to have somebody, a direct line of communication with the mayor's office. I know when that material shit went down, there was a certain gang that was in his ear, and they made some changes. Yeah, but it affected nothing. It affected so, nothing. But brother, there was, I'm just saying, though, they had that fucking tool. They had that tool. For example, if I was in a fucking mayorship, I'm just saying, if it was me and somebody was fucking with me, I would pull that lever all the way down in whatever the sector they were in. Yeah, he's done that. It's, it's affected or nothing. It's affected nothing. I'm telling you, he tries. Here's, here's, he could try to control this. It's impossible. It's impossible what he's trying to do. Here's something that the mayor could do. That I've, I've, me and and these people here have been trying to figure out a way into. But it seems that the current legislation makes it too hard. Rentable properties. We own a lot of properties, and it properties being landlords. That's a lot of money. There's a lot of money in being landlords, renting out your shit. But the way as it stands right now, landlords are responsible for everything their tenants do. If a mayor can come in and propose a legislation to make it so that tenants are solely responsible for what they do inside of a rented property, we can make a lot of money and we uh, can gain the system. That we will never change. You, Gentlemen, get it? you don't think Gentlemen, that would ever happen? All right. I got to go, That'll sadly. I got an emergency. Uh, but uh, it was very nice to meet you guys. Very good meeting. I have to dip. You guys can, you know, uh, talk more with my boys here. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta go. It's emergency. Okay, Sorry. Okay. Yeah, gotta go more, I, in, I think we're going in circles at this point. I'm we are, yeah. That, yeah, it's it, whatever. It, it's just something that it would be better to have somebody or not. But if you know, fuck the mayorship for now. Well, I mean, listen, you can take that path if you want. I'm not, I'm not stopping you from having a relationship with Max. I'm just telling you, he won't stab you in the back. I'll give you about a month and a half before he does it. 100%. I'm just saying, well, it, it's saying worth Go ahead. We're saying fuck the mayorship. I believe the mayor and deputy mayor do not like each other. So just, that sounds already like a fucking recipe for absolute fucking disaster that I personally want to be anywhere near. That sounds perfect. Hopefully they can't change anything, can't get any legislation passed, and it leaves us the fuck alone. With that said, so, so, so fuck the mayorship and let's get back to this fucking turf so it seems like nothing really changing we, we're gonna keep fucking stacking bread oh see this is my problem the there is a lot changing there is uh we need to get active in cyprus jack you you need to you need to recruit and vet people who are for the vision that we have okay we, we've spoken okay, before like, you you told me there's, there's me, only okay. there's yeah. only a handful of people you can fucking rely on this that and the third that needs to grow that needs to grow I need you to tell me, like, what, do you want me to have 10 more people here to, like, by the end of the week pushing? No, because I don't think you can vet 10 people that quickly. People you can trust, Jack, not just any Joe Schmo. Okay, and, and are y'all going to be doing the same? We do the same every single day. Okay, now there's one big issue here. Yeah. There's one big issue when it comes to growing. I can vet somebody, but do you want them, like, am, am I going to bring them into my crew and fucking they become my 
personal fucking interior crew and they push or just people that i can trust that are kind of like tangentially attached that i can rely on strictly for selling green that's what i'm trying to i mean that, that, that comes down to personal preference on how you want to operate but, but there's a big issue here that the, the turf like the green like do we sell the backs to them and if we're going to sell the backs to them at what price because that's something that you got to decide because this is your turf um if you want to sell the bags to them yeah but uh, again that's just personal preference i don't i don't mind what prices you sell at i don't think we just don't want to profit off of your territory yeah but that's the thing right this is no longer just ours like what we're doing here is li literally dividing this 50 50. this is this is no small step you know what i mean and, and, that, and that's why i keep emphasizing like you keep saying oh nothing not much is changing a lot is changing we need to get more active in what we're trying to do if this were to happen all right all right brother you you guys would rule the fucking north we would rule the south does that make sense it's you you make your own rules you do whatever the fuck you want but we do it in in the mindset that we are still working together and not trying to fuck each other over we are working together but you have your land we have ours Okay, say less, but all I needed to know was the green light, you know, to have people fucking pushing here that I convert. If we can sell them baggies, um, I'm pretty sure I can find some good people and they can do it on their apps. I don't got to bring them, you know, any more into my, you know, under my personal umbrella, which we've done currently with like three people that we really trust. Yeah, so I think, like I said, I think just be fucking very that's careful. Huge. Okay, that's huge. Okay, that's huge, brother. That, that, that's fucking huge. Okay. That's just, gonna make things a lot your fucking easier. fucking people, though, Jack. Don't fucking let rodents into your fucking backyard. Listen, if they do, I'll fucking take care of them. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, problems don't go away like that. Listen, I can't ensure, brother. You know, I got a certain way of working. I can't, you know, ensure that someone's not gonna try to burn me. But if it happens, I'll take care of it. All right. Uh, I, I think what happens next is we kind of just figure this out as it goes. Uh, what kind of? Uh, I'll send you like a you know a little photo of. Uh, of Cyprus and we'll break it down on the fucking border so you can understand what's yours we can understand what's ours and then the goal would be to figure out how we uh marry this material and furniture business and how we can absolutely maximize the efficiency of it you know, we, we start the, from there uh, and then we figure things out as we go along we have the showroom opening it up soon if you guys want to come by and see it uh Diva's done an amazing job with it kind of see what we got cooking over there yeah, yeah. they we're totally okay with that. I mean, from the first day we met, it was about you scratch our back, we scratch your back. Even if we got to pay a few dollars extra here and there, the point is to keep both businesses kind of afloat and be exclusive in that way. Yeah. So okay, uh, just, just think of ideas for that. All right. And then start showing more of a presence in Cyprus. Let people know that you are running out of there. That is why everything that we do, we do down here. You can always see our people down here whenever you come down here. You know what I mean? Okay. I see what you're saying. All right, but they say less. That's like I said, it's not a lot's changing, but a lot is changing. Okay. Yeah. And I'll and I'll end with fucking this. Okay. Uh This is a step that we don't really fucking need to do. Uh, if, if I'm being quite honest, uh, we can just keep operating the way that we are and survive, and we know we can. The main two reasons we are doing this, Jack, is one, uh, we are very like-minded, and we know you you guys are capable of handling uh, something like this. And we don't mind sharing the pie with somebody. It's always better to work together. And two, uh, we need to stand together when motherfuckers come knocking. I've been waiting, brother, for somebody to come knocking. I'm just saying. All right. I'm, ju I'm just saying, brother. I I'm waiting. I've been itching for it. You know, we had two situations already with two different sets, and I think we handled ourselves pretty fucking good in each one of them. All right. With, you know, without adver uh, without adversity, we're going to fucking grow soft. You know, steady seas make for a bad sailor. And, you know, the juicier this place becomes, the more eyes are going to be on it. And I'm just waiting. And, you know, don't you worry about that at all. Okay. At all. You know, up until now, the, I've, I've, I felt like... um. You know, you've, you've had this veneer of invincibility about you. You know, I've always looked up to it. But for the first time, I sense like a sense of urgency that, you know, other crews are kind of moving a little bit quicker than expected. It's not, it's not really external. It's more internal. We don't give a fuck about what other crews do. We just like to compare and see what we can do better, really. 
No, it's good to have benchmarks. Okay. Yeah. Say less. Look, my number is open. This is my crew here. There's a few more of us. You need to tell your boys that they can always reach out to us. Yeah, same goes for you. Okay. All right. On the business side, just let me know, and we can work something out. I'll, uh, I've will uh, i got all the numbers down, so it's plug and play. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have a meeting sometime this week so we can go over it. Sounds good. All right, guys. All right, take care. Take care, Luciano. Buona fortuna, guys. Buona fortuna, buona fortuna, buona fortuna. Guys, this, this is like 75% like an RP move. It's just, it's just cool to kind of do something like this for the story.